Alright, here we are in Tahoe Woods Complex. But just wanted to give you kind of an idea of what the neighborhood looks like. The lake is like three blocks that way. And then turning around, Heavenly is straight that way. So you're basically three blocks between the lake and the mountain. Um, your unit is over here. It's the top floor. So kind of nice that it doesn't have any neighbors to the right. Um, they have extra guest parking in a few different areas. So, but you also have the garage and one spot outside of the front. Um, all right, so it's that unit up there. Okay, let's go check it out. So the entry is shared. But anyways, come through here. You do have to go up all these stairs. Actually, let me just double check if there is a... Oh no, that's the other units. Yeah, so you definitely have to go up the stairs. Um, no elevator. Um, nice entry though. I think this is probably your storage unit. Oh no, that's not hot water, but okay. Okay, top floor, unit 304. Here we go. Nice, big, open, high ceilings when you first walk in. Nice hardwood floors. Well, engineered, but um, yeah, good open concept living area um, the property is just under 2200 square foot three bedrooms three baths so an idea of how big it is here gas fireplace that's the owner's closet it's locked but you know could use it as a pantry um, plenty of bar seating new appliances this big fridge. Everything looks nice and clean and um, good. Obviously it's used as a um, vacation rental right now. So we just have to kind of take a look at how all the appliances are working and um, make sure there's no issues there. You have gas stove. They kind of have it stocked with the essentials for now. And again, you know, we could ask for it furnished um, I don't have my info sheet with me to say if it is or not, but double ovens, one, two. It's kind of fun for big parties. Microwave. And again, just really nice up here. Quiet. Um, here's an idea of that there's no neighbors over there. So that's always a bonus. You can kind of see the mountain right there. That's where the gondola is at the top of that, um, Mountain right there. That's always nice. Going out into the little deck area, you have a barbecue. A little seating area, just big enough for a table. And you're nice here. No windows anywhere along this side, so very private. You really just have the few windows over here to deal with which is nice for a vacation rental. Um, this whole area is permitted to do it, so your neighbors are gonna be doing the same thing most likely, uh, which is really good news. You don't, it's better than being in a neighborhood that doesn't allow them and having people complain. So that's why this one is priced the way it is. And I do feel like it's a priced pretty well for the size now that I'm seeing it in person. Um, it's new, it was built in 2015. Let's get started here. So they have this one set up as a bedroom, um, no closet, so it doesn't technically count. Um, with the permits, you are allowed to have two people in each bedroom. So technically it's a three bedroom, which would be two, four, six people, plus a pull-out couch, which is seven, eight, which is probably what they're doing with this bed here. So um, you would be able to sleep a max of eight. 
There are linen closets. Always nice to have. This is probably, oh, maybe a garbage chute or a laundry chute. That's what that is. Laundry. I saw that down there. Again, pretty nice to have. Bedroom one, official bedroom one. Nice size. This is a queen. Um, you could easily fit a king in here, but this is a really nice setup. Uh, I think we definitely want to ask for the furnishings and a closet here, a little walk-in. Okay. Here you have the nest system here, which is always good to have. Um, I think you can get those programmed to your phone. Bathroom one. And, uh, I'm gonna get go ahead and say this is the primary upstairs. So this is a massive bedroom, huge king size bed, plenty of room, um, really nice furnishings as well. Nice big carpet. And then out back, you also have a lot of privacy this way. Um, that I believe is a little single family home. Well, there's two units, but like privately owned um, and pretty far back. So lots of space there. You don't have like a building right next to you. Um, so it feels good to be able to have the window open and um, do that. Right. Into the master bath. Double sinks, nice high vanity. I mean, I'm six foot tall, so I like to see that kind of stuff. Walk-in closet. You have the big shower over here, soaker tub um, with jets, corner tub. Always good for a party. I mean, there's a few little things. You know, we'd have to get an inspector in on stuff like that. Make sure that everything's working and functioning. No signs of... Um, any leaks or anything like that or issues with water. Being on the top unit, there's the little loo there. Okay. So they're counting that as one, two. That's a bonus one there. And then downstairs, which is, this is really great to have this private area too. You have a huge stairway um, into the laundry room. Again, that's where that chute went, and so that's a pretty neat feature. But washer and dryer look pretty new. Uh, I'm just gonna take a look at my hair. You know, that's the inspector will really get into the nooks and crannies to give us a good idea of how everything looks. There's your furnace. Um, again, it looks like each floor has its own control, which is a bonus to this massive room downstairs. Um, so before they passed this law on short-term rentals, they could probably pack as many people as they wanted into this kind of property, and everyone did that with properties. That's why they had to pass this law. Um, so there's two beds here, but would you use both beds? I'm not sure. Um, obviously, if you're using it for yourself or friends or family, um, I think you can put as many people in here, but if you're gonna do a commercial, you have to abide by the um, correct number of permits per room. Or sorry, yeah, abide by the permit for the correct number of people per room. So we'll need to look into that, but again, just a really nice space down here. You could even turn it into um, maybe like bunk beds and have like a pool table or a little game room down here. That would be kind of a fun way to use the space, um, like a bedroom and a game room. But there's the closet for down here. And yeah, I mean, this is just a really nice property. Recessed lighting throughout. You've got the nice crown molding here. And yeah, pretty trim on the doors. Everything looks good. The carpet's in good condition. Um, Sometimes you see a little bit of wear and tear. I mean, there's a little bit, but it's really not bad at all, especially for vacation rental. And yeah. So that is a unit 304. Uh, we should be able to get you in on Sunday if you're gonna be here in town um, and you can come get a look for yourself, all right?